Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the drag and drop gestures using the actions class. So let's begin. Let's understand how drag and drop works and then we will see how we can automate that using the actions class. For that, let me go to the browser here and here we need to navigate to this website which is jqdui.com slash droppable. Let me copy this one from here and in the browser we need to open this url okay so uh, this is a website and uh, we need to click on this one hold this one and then we need to drop it here so this is known as drag something and dropping something in terms of the elements here okay now we need to automate this functionality for that let me go to eclipse here let me create a new class and let me name it as automate drag and drop drag and okay we need to select the main method check here click on finish and let me copy some basic code of lines from previous example and let me paste it here okay the first thing we need to do is that we need to copy this URL and we need to paste it here. Now, if if we look into this drag and drop thing, so there are there are two things basically. The one thing which we need to drag, and where we need to drag and drop. So basically, we are dragging this element and dropping this here in this particular location. So we need two things here. Now, if I go here, the first thing I need to do is that I need to find the element, right? And let's go here and inspect this one and see what happens. So, this is a div and the ID is trackable. But if I go here, this is under the iframe, right? So first we need to switch to the iframe so that we can work with this particular div. So let me find this one and let me go here and have uh, this relative X path for this particular frame. Let me copy this one. And now what we need to do is that we need to driver dot switch to dot frame and in frame we need to pass driver dot find element by dot x path and we need to provide the x path here okay so we need to switch here first and once we switch here now we can actually go to this particular element and we can drag this one and drop it here so we need a drag element first so let me inspect this one and you can see that it has id draggable let me copy this one and let's go here and here what i will do is that driver dot find element by dot id and an id i need to provide this id and let me save it into the web element web element and let me name it as draggable and let's import the package in the similar way where we need to drop and we will be taking the id from there so if i go to this one this dropped area let me insect here and you see it's a droppable and it's, it has also an id let me copy this one and let me go back here again uh, driver dot find element by dot id 
and we need to provide the ID here and that's it and similarly let's create web element web element and I'm naming it as drop able and we are ready with both starting dragging point and dropping point so before we can drag and drop how this will work we need to go with the actions class actions act okay equals to new actions and in actions we need to provide the driver here and to import the actions class here and now what we need to do is that we have one method called drag and drop you can see that we have two methods with the same name but the number of arguments are different here we would be using the first one and uh, in the first one because we would be giving a uh, one web element source and the target right so source is basically uh, draggable and the target is droppable right you can also use drag and drop by where you can provide the source web element and then you need to provide offset y and x in terms of integers and you can do that as well but right now i will go with this first method and first is you know draggable and then second is droppable that's it now once we will do that what we usually do and learn is that we need to build then we need to use the perform method here build dot and let me save this one so let me put some delay here in terms so that we can see how the things work and let me uh, put some delay here after opening the web page here and red dot sleep and we will be using thread dot sleep as of now but later we will be learning the different weights available in the selenium so right now and save this one and let's run this and see what happens so it will maximize the browser it will go to the page it will switch to the frame it will wait for some five seconds then you will see that it dragged that particular element from draggable to droppable position so that's how you can automate drag and drop in uh, using the selenium web driver actions class Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.